Hey, this is Harley from WeLoveMetal.com. I'm here with uh, Gunner, the bass player from Tier. Did I say that right? I always have a problem uh, with that. It's okay. Close enough. Huh? <laughs> Close enough. Okay. Um, so, a few questions for you today, and uh, we'll let you get back uh, getting ready for the show. So, oh, yeah. How's the, how's the tour been so far for you guys this year? Great. Super. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Great tour. Great guys to tour with and everything, so... Okay. You've been out with the Super before on Pagan Fest. Uh, in yeah, fact, that was kind of my introduction to you guys and them and folk metal. So uh, we, we, we toured, a lot, we toured the Super Fair before, and we also toured a lot of the Sure. Okay. Um, so uh, I think this will be my fifth time seeing you guys. Uh, every time your show has gotten uh, better and better. I've seen you uh, in Europe. I saw you. Uh, Frog Power a couple years ago. Uh, so, um, have you seen a, an increase in the fan fan base for the band and the passion of the fans I, for I, you guys? Fortunately, I, I, we see an increase every time. Good. Uh, we've been very lucky. Really, very fans. Uh, and we see a lot of the same people every time. Sure. People travel for. Uh, Long way to see the concert. <laughs> it's awesome. I drove uh, seven hours to get here, so there yeah, you go. <laughs> there's another uh, another example. Um, how's this tour compared with uh, the previous Pagan Fest in 2008? With, uh, uh, who was on there? Teresa and uh, yeah, Ch uh, Ch uh, Teresa Elevati. Elevati. We Americans. That's the Asian. Well. I think just as great, I think, uh, it's kind of difficult to say. I love that tour just as much. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, Lay of Thrones came out in, uh, 2011, wow. I think. Uh, so, it's been a couple years. What, what are prospects for a new album from you guys? Well, the uh, prospects are so. quite good, because we're going to go into studio right after this. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go in and hopefully somewhere in September, I think. Okay. <laughs> oh no, we we won't hold you to that. But uh, it's good to know there's one it's on the horizon. It's gonna be released on our new record. Well, metal. Okay, that's right. You went to that last year. How's that? Relationship and working out. For really them. good. So, uh, they are the nicest people I ever met. And uh, actually, the first time I actually met old people from the company. Ah. <laughs> so, so, that's good. Uh, I don't know what I before. I think that's what some of them are. These guys, they keep in touch all the time. So. It's good that they take an interest. Uh, oh, yeah, in yeah, yeah. Out yeah. There. They're making them drive slightly. He's been doing it for a very long time. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, so okay, good. No, that's good to know. Um, I have some. Uh, I have a question about uh, one particular album, Ragnarok. You yeah. never seem to play songs from from that. At least the, the times I've seen it. Uh, well, I would kill for you guys to play the hunt at some point. That was the song that really got me. Actually, you guys. played the hunt not too long ago. Yeah, but not in the states, I, I guess, right? Not <laughs> Oh really? Yeah. How about tonight? No. <laughs> I can try. It. It's uh. But it, it the, seems the, like the, that album kind of gets. Uh, the thing with that album is it's a very, it's a very progressive album. Sure. And it's, uh, yeah. Many of the, well, quite a lot of the stuff is quite difficult. Bands, good preparation, and we did quite a few of the songs before. Uh huh. Uh, but you get more and more albums out, you kind of have to pick and choose what you Absolutely. play, you know. <laughs> so, there are the fan uh, favorites uh, and there's the new stuff, so yeah. Yeah, yeah and also you, you, when you get a setup like this, you got four bands and I think you got, you got a little bit of time. Sure. What do you, what do you have, an hour maybe? Uh, 45 minutes on this one. Oh, wow. Okay. You know, that's a short time to put everything in. Everything that everybody wants to hear, right? Yeah. yeah. Usually the one that comes up most from that album is probably a of time. Oh, sure. 
Well, we're going to pick up um, stuff from that track today, so later on. Okay, good. Um, how about a, a headline for Pagan Fest for you guys in the future? Not sure? Not <laughs> Why not? Uh, uh, <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. I kind of, we kind of like this position. Okay. Because it gives us uh, time to see the other guys. Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you're the prepare. last one, you're always, when you're kind of had to shower or whatever, everybody's <laughs> gone. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, uh, had a chance to interview Sammy uh, earlier today. Yeah. And the question I asked him uh, concerned you, actually. Uh, and bass players in general. The bass player always seems to be the crazy guy in the band for some reason. You're running around the stage, he runs around the stage. Uh, I, I brought up Frank Bello, I don't know, no, from no, Anthrax. No. He's no, no, constant. No, no. What is it about bass players that just kind of, you guys are a little different than, than the other band members. We don't, we I don't, like it. But, we, uh, we scream for attention. We uh, don't oh, is that it? We <laughs> 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 kind of flag them, oh, I'm here. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I, I guess it's a little bit from uh, what I was inspired by. I think we both were inspired by Steve Harris mm -hmm. from that time. And he, 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 he well, out. sure, he still he does. He entertained. <laughs> uh, that's the same thing. I, I don't try to entertain it, but I guess we kind of need some of the stuff. You know, yeah, okay. Imagine. Um, I don't know. I just I just get extreme. When I see all the people that come to the concert and having a good time, I just, you get very happy. It makes you feel good. Yeah, it makes you feel good. The best way around. Well, I'm out of down. A little bit? <laughs> Not too much, I hope. Oh, no. Yeah, um, maybe a common question, but do you make your living doing this now? Nope. You do not? I'm, uh, I don't know if you should say this. No, you, you can keep it in general terms. Your own attitude up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a plumber. In, in oh, okay. Uh, I have a day job as a plumber. In uh, the Faroe Islands, or are you in Denmark? I, I live in Denmark. I've been okay. there for a long time. Uh -huh. so, uh, okay. How, how do your kids, uh, what do they think about dad being a heavy metal musician uh, out there touring the world? Well, they actually don't talk, don't talk too much about it. They just say it's kind of strange when they introduce me in class and say, that's a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, okay. Uh, what else do I? Oh, the folk. Uh, go back to the music. The, the folk melodies that you guys use. Uh, I think a lot of them are Faroese, you know, Faroe based. The Faroe uh, are, are, are they from the side here? Do you pull it uh, from? Uh, uh, from the side. Okay. But most of them are from the side. So they're all in there. Mm -hmm. You'll get Danish ones. We'll take anything off that might come out of this. Okay. Do you, do you write melodies that sound like that? Or do you try to stay pure and, and, and preserve some of that? The, the uh, it's a little bit of both, actually. You kind of take the melody and sometimes you use the whole melody for a chorus line. Then you kind of use Okay. Uh, let me ask about touring in the U.S. And, and North America, really. Is there something you look forward to other than playing fans and music when you come over here? Like, uh, like I get a I, I, chili dog at 7-Eleven or something crazy like that. Is there something you're... Fortunately, I have to disappoint you on the food. Well, it doesn't have to be food, <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> uh, I just like the nature. I, I, uh -huh. I like to go up and look at things. Okay. Do you get much of a chance to? Not always, but uh, I always try. And I also love to go to museums and stuff. Okay. Uh, so things like now we're going to Canada. So I visit. Okay. I love to see American things. When I'm sometimes when I head down to Florida, I go. Kennedy. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a fan of, uh, of uh, aerospace? Yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you go to D.C., go to the uh, Aerospace Museum. It's, yeah. it's incredible. Uh, I can definitely recommend that. 
to see those old spaceships from that point. Yeah, it's all there. So, <laughs> um, you mentioned going to those kind of cultural things. Do you have other other outlets besides music? Uh, do you paint? Do you draw? Write? Anything like that? I all right my hand to man, I guess. <laughs> I like to build. Things. Okay. So yeah. work with your hands. Yeah. That's what I. I know. <laughs> Okay. You said you spent most spend now most of your time in Denmark. But you're from Faroe Islands. Yeah, I'm from Denmark. And uh, I had no clue where that was until maybe two thousand eight. Um, can you tell us a little bit about about your life there growing up and uh, maybe Well it's you know, Denmark used it used to be a protectorate of Denmark. Uh, Denmark so, oh, oh, so. Belongs to them. Still does. Yeah, it still belongs to them. Oh, okay. Like Greenland. Uh, Denmark. Right. Greenland, Greenland also belongs to them. Uh, it's just a independent. Okay. okay. Semi independent state. Sure. So we have all of them. Uh huh. So, how, how does a band from a population of 45,000? 50, I was going to say 50,000 yeah, people. 48,000 yeah. people. That, that's, that's as big as the town. I grew up in. <laughs> well, when you live out there, it's um, first of all the music culture is extremely big. Oh, okay. I mean, you got you won't believe how many bands there are. It's, it's incredible. They love music, all kinds of music. Mm -hmm. And uh, since forty-eight thousand people doesn't sound like much for anybody. It's, when you live out there, it seems like a lot because everybody lives in in, in uh, normal houses. They okay. don't live in, uh, in apartments. apartments. Okay. So it's kind of spread out. So yeah, this is uh, everywhere. And it's the islands are small, so it looks like it. It's a lot. it looks like. It. Okay. Yeah. So, and we have a rich culture. Uh huh. Yeah. Lots of artists of all kinds. You know, painters, writers. And then it's uh, fishing. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely looking at myself. So. <laughs> Are you really? Yeah. Do you yeah. own a boat? No, 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 no. I used to go out and say I was For months at a time? Yeah. Okay. That's hard work. Yeah, it's not too, I mean, the only thing is you work every day. <laughs> you work every day. Uh -huh. There's no there's no days off. Okay. Wow. That's but it's a, Kind of like, kind of like touring. touring. <laughs> no days off. Uh, I definitely bit, look forward bit, to visiting. Bit more smelly. <laughs> <laughs> what, this or the fishing? Uh, the fishing. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say maybe the touring. <laughs> That's kind of smelly too. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. Far to the feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, the next album. Yeah. Looking forward to the show tonight. Uh, like I said, fifth time seeing you guys. Uh, definitely become <laughs> so, uh, anything else for, for metal fans out there? Buy our albums, <laughs> buy our tickets, come see us, hope you like it. Yeah, so, alright. Alright, Gunnar, thank yep. you. Uh, thank you. This is Harley from uh, WeLoveMetal.com signing off and saying, I hear the sound in a metal way. You keep on rocking. Awesome.